Um, so basically that's it. You just need a container, some sticks, be able some way to spray. If you keep tarantulas and stuff, you won't have a problem with that. Uh, I actually really, really recommend if you live local, if you live local, if these live in your local area, that's what I meant to say, I recommend just keeping maybe one or two and just seeing how you get on with them. Because if you're into spiders, they're, they're a great species. They don't move around a lot, but they're nice to watch where they are in the web. They look fantastic. Um, bit of extra advice. If you do get egg sacs, I leave mine in there for a couple of weeks. Um, they start to change colour a little bit. They got a bit darker. And what I do is take them out of the web, pull the web up with these usually. Just take them out with these or I've got tweezers. And I put them into this pot. This is just a cricket tub on its side with a stick in it. And I put the web, the egg sac in there. It's already been webbed up by the false widows, so I just stick it in there. Before I had a piece of string and I threaded it through the egg sac and through the top of the the tub and just let them hatch in there because if they hatch in with the mother you're going to have a serious serious trouble trying to get them out and they will escape straight through the holes so that's that if you can't find any wood that's been like sort of bleached and it's not got a bark on you can take wood that that uh, that has got bark on sort of scratch it off yourself and wash it whatever but this is another substitute I use this is willow one of the things my dad does is make baskets, so I just took some of this, chopped it up, um, washed it, baked it, and this is basically just a makeshift container until I make one of these up. It's just a cricket tub turned on its end, bit of sub, some willow, that's why it sits down here somewhere, never see it. But they are great. Oops, they I recommend keeping them, I really do. Uh, and that's about it. If you are in Scotland or somewhere where you can't find false widows because they don't live up here because it's too cold you can always contact me on YouTube or Bug Nation on Bug Nation I'm Vampire Guitarist uh, I've been having luck breeding them but not raising them to adults only the males seem to get to adulthood because the females grow a lot slower and I've not had any food small enough to feed to the females yet as they're getting bigger so I need to get some fruit flies and I should have some slings soon because I have two egg sacs there and a couple from a previous egg sac so I might be able to sort you out with some or you can get in contact with somebody down south on one of the forums and I'm sure they'll catch you some and send you some up for the price of postage but yep that is my advice on keeping them uh, fantastic spiders and if you've got any further questions or you need to know anything or um, find out any more information uh, don't hesitate to get in contact uh, or go on Bug Nation and, and uh, leave some questions and we'll answer them for you uh, thanks for watching remember to rate and subscribe and I'll be putting up some more bug related videos soon